Guys, honestly, this is probably one of the most best mice I've ever used. And I'm going to tell you why just after this message from our first ever channel sponsor, CDKOffers.com. If you're upgrading your motherboard or building a new computer from scratch, you'll probably need to activate a new copy of Windows or else be stuck with that dreaded activate Windows watermark. Head over to CDKOffers.com where you can buy CD keys for all sorts of games and software, including Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM keys at a heavily discounted price. Simply make an account by clicking on your country and click sign up. Then browse the store to find your chosen software, hit the buy now button to add it to your basket, and then check out using offer code M20 to get a cool 20% off. After checkout, your key will then be emailed to you. Just highlight the code, copy and paste it into the Windows activation screen, and you're ready to go. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description to browse the full store today. Okay, now this is a Logitech MX Master 3. It's an ergonomic mouse. It's not a gaming mouse, but tell you what, it is actually uh, good for a bit of both. So this is what you get in the front of the box anyway. There's no window, so you can't open it up and see what it looks like if you are picking it up in a shop. But you know what? It's straightforward, dead simple. So let's just open this thing up here. Um, now, the MX Master 3 has got a bit of a following because... Well, the MX Master range has got a bit of a following from Logitech. So as you can see, you open up here and you get this kind of uh, box that opens up from the top there. And the these MX Master series has been known to be a really good uh, range of mice for productivity. So inside the box, you have the mouse itself with a little kind of sticker on the back there. And here we have the uh, USB receiver and it's only a tiny nano receiver, which is pretty cool. Um, and here we have the uh, cable and instruction manual that you get in there as well. So let's just chuck that to the side. Let's have a look at these. So as you can see here, we've got the Logitech Micro Type C cable in like a dark gray color. It looks really sharp as well. Really nice quality. Uh, you've got the nano receiver there, really tiny receiver. You'll be able to hide it away. Maybe if it's in your laptop or what have you. You've got a manual there, tell you how to kind of use the thing. You've got a little card here, which tells you about the warranty information and the advanced wireless uh, nano receiver, because you can use that nano receiver with um, the Logitech keyboard as well, if you've got a cordless keyboard, and obviously you've got the mouse itself there as well. Okay, so let's just put this to the side here. Let's talk about this mouse. Now, this mouse, honestly, I've been using it for a while and it's absolutely brilliant. Now, the... Um, uh, the software, you have to install that to get all the features out of it as well. So um, I'll show you that in a, in a bit later in the video. So let's just have a look at this, how, how it works here. So um, you've got a nice kind of uh, rubber finish here to this thing. Um, where then you've got plastic uh, buttons here as well on the side, on the, uh, on, on the uh, top there. And then on the side here, we've got a metal scroll wheel, um, which does your sideways scrolling and you've got the forward and back buttons. You've also got a little LED indicator there, which tells you about your battery performance, etc. And you've also got a little thumb button there, which um, you can use to you know, uh, switch between windows or whatever you kind of want. So it's nice and hidden away there. Um, on the bottom here, you've got the uh, sticker, which tells you about what's actually um, going on uh, on the, you know, how to sync the thing up and all that kind of thing. It's like a quick start guide. So I'm just gonna peel that away. There we go. Now on the front, you've got the Type-C connector there, so you can obviously use it while it's charging, or you can um, just, uh, you know, uh, uh, just plug it in and just have it, you know, charging by itself. You've got the power on and off switch there. Obviously, you've got your laser, a little, some tef little feet here, you know, to slide it across the uh, floor. And then you've got the one, two, and three uh, switch. Basically, what that lets you do is because uh, you can have this mouse connected via Bluetooth off with the wireless receiver to the three different PCs now um, and you can switch between the PCs using that little profile which is very cool and if it is actually synced up to uh, two PCs at the same time you can actually using the software drag and drop or move your mouse from one, win one PC to the other PC as if it was uh, just using an extended desktop window which is really cool and um, not tried it myself yet, but it's pretty cool. Now the feet on it there, um, they're quite thin. They're not like the thickest feet. Like normally what you see on gaming mice is really thick kind of feet. On this one, you don't really have that, um, uh, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, th this this uh, rubber uh, you know, material feels really nice. Now, 
Um, the best feature about this mice, well, there's actually two. Um, one thing is the battery life. Now I'm coming from a Corsair Dark Core SE RGB gaming mouse. Now I had that for just over two years and the battery just went to absolute shit. You couldn't even get like 10 minutes out of it before it would die. And it's a bit of a common occurrence. Now I thought, you know, buying that mouse, being in wireless charging, it wouldn't be that big of an issue because I have to plug it in. I just need to put it on its charge pad when I'm finished with the day and then I wake up in the morning and then I've got another full day's worth of use out of it, but it wouldn't hold its charge, it's rubbish. This thing is absolutely brilliant. When you get it out of the box, it'll be on low battery, but honestly, I didn't plug it in and I was using the low battery from straight out of the box and it took me uh, three weeks for the battery to die, which is brilliant. Now, if you actually plug this thing in and fully charge it, Logitech say you get 70 days on a full charge um, out of this thing, which is pretty ridiculous, really. So you don't even have to worry about charging it. Um, you know, uh, you just have to, and then if you do actually want to charge it, you just need to plug it in for, I think it says, is it a one minute? Let's see, what is it? Yeah, one minute gets you three hours of use. I mean, one minute of charging gets you three hours of use. Absolutely brilliant, I think that's wicked. Uh, so that's one of the good things, the battery life is brilliant, you don't have to worry about it. But that's probably mainly because it hasn't got all these crazy RGB flashing lights and stuff like that, which look cool, but let's be honest, it's not practical for battery life. The second thing, this magnetic scroll wheel is the best thing ever. Every mouse should be like this. Like at the, at the start, I was a bit apprehensive because I've been used to coming from gaming mice where they're really clicky and stuff like that. But there's this one, it's not, it uses magnets to give you the bumps in the ridges, right? And and when you feel it, it feels like a little like a little rumble, like, you know, like a, it's like a, it's hard to describe, but it's, it's, it feels really nice. And the whole thing is metal as well. The whole scroll wheel is metal on there and on the side, metal scroll wheel. So very good build quality here. And the good thing about it is if you, uh, if you're in this mode here, you can just, you know, kind of roll it and it'll just stop by itself using the magnets. But if you were to kind of flick it, the, the mouse, would just keep uh, spinning like by itself. Now it's not plugged in now, it actually uses an electronic gear to do that, which I'll show you once I plugged it in and turned it on. But basically you um, you can flick it and it'll, it'll spin forever. All right, so here I go, I've got it turned on now and I'm gonna flick this mouse wheel here and it's going to just spin forever. Like it's incredible, so watch, here we go. I've got it on and I'm gonna spin it and it's, and it's right, you can't see it, but it's actually spinning. Like, it won't stop. Like, it'll stop after ages. And what the cool thing about that is, um, you could be in like a, a window that, you know, like a Reddit thread or whatever, you can spin and it just keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. And you just gotta tap it with your finger to just stop it. And that's the great thing about it. Now, if you don't like the bump feature at all, and you don't want it to stop, you can just literally press this button and it'll activate a clutch. And then basically you won't have any bumps and it'll just spin forever. Now, the good thing about this as well is this mouse wheel is completely silent. Now, I'm going to hold it up to my microphone now. I'm going to spin it. You can't hear anything. And it's still spinning. Like that's how quiet this thing is. You cannot hear it when it's moving and it's it's just really nice, you know. Um, comfort wise, um, it feels really great in the hand. Um, it, I'm gonna put it on a mouse mat. We'll just go up to the PC, plug it in and we'll just see what it feels like and how the software looks right now. Now check this out guys. This is one of the benefits of having such a tiny nano receiver. So I've actually got it plugged in to the USB inside the PC. Can you see it? I'm gonna have to zoom in. There it is, right there the tiny nano receiver just underneath the graphics card. All right, so here's the mouse plugged in now to the PC. And as you can see, I'm just gonna give you a feel of how it kind of glides, you know, on my mouse mat here. So uh, I've got it turned on, I'm just gonna throw it around there. So like I said, you know, this is a, uh, a cloth mouse mat, but it isn't designed for gaming this uh, particular mouse. But you know what, it actually works quite well um, for both kind of productivity um, or, uh, um, you know, gaming. I have used it for a bit of light gaming, so I'll show you that in a second anyway. But here we're gonna show you what it sounds like um, on the clicks. So I'm just gonna put my microphone quite close to the actual um, mouse and we'll get a feel of how it sounds like.
Okay, now here is the Logitech MX Master 3 next to my other mouse. There's, this is the Rockat Nith. Uh, MMO gaming mouse, so as you can see got loads of buttons on here going on and whereas the, uh, the Logitech MX Master 3 is very more streamlined, very professional, kind of cool looking. Now the Rockat Nith um, just for comparison's sake, really, obviously it is a gaming mouse. This does have a matte kind of finish, but the fit, the matte a rubber finish on this compared to this was a lot thicker. Like you can almost press it down a little bit, like a rubber. Whereas this one you can't. It feels a little bit more plasticky. But the main thing I want to highlight by showing you these two is the fact that the mouse wheel, like once you've used this mouse wheel, every other mouse wheel feels a bit cheap. Like it just feels cheap and plasticky and doesn't doesn't got much throw to it. But you can't flick it you can't do anything with it and this is actually quite an expensive mouse quite high end and it you know i wasn't really bothered about this mouse will it until i started using this one and i'm like i'm never going back to using that for my daily driver <laughs> once i use this mouse wheel all right guys so this is the actual logitech options uh, uh menu here what you can do with it here so the only way to actually check the battery level is to actually open up this and it just tells you full it doesn't give you a percentage which is a bit annoying there's nothing in the taskbar here that kind of tells you how much battery you've got which is a bit annoying really so you can't do anything like that so but the good thing is the battery is really long lasting so anyway see what we've got here so we've got the mouse itself and it tells you what the different uh, buttons do as you hover over them that kind of stuff so you can click on it and tell it to do something else um, you can assign different um, options and stuff like that um, to uh, you know different hotkeys, whatever you want to do to uh, plan your own thing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's also got here um, the po point and scroll. So basically, the one annoying thing about this mouse is the max DPI of it is four thousand out the box. So by any uh, no stretch of the imagination, it's like a gaming mouse wriggles it's like twelve thousand DPI. 4000 but the annoying thing is it doesn't actually let you put in a specific dpi um number you have to just use this kind of point of speed uh, slider to figure out where you kind of want it which is a bit annoying i'd rather just have a number and just put that in but what can you do uh, smooth scrolling disabled stuff like that so that's where you know it's got the constant scroll and obviously you can change the scroll wheel direction, thumb wheel sensitivity, all that kind of jazz. And then you can change the fit scroll wheel mode between the ratchet or the free spin. And that's what that button on the middle of the mouse does um, just above the scroll wheel there. Obviously you can learn all this by going through the feature tour. Flow, so this is what I was talking about earlier is where if you've got the actual Logitech software and it's your mouse is synced to another PC, you can just move back and forth the windows, which is really cool you know, once you've uh, actually got that on. But if you're using it on a single PC, not really a big deal. Um, another thing you've got here, you've got more options here. This kind of tells you about, you know, backup stuff, software, you know, update the um, uh, the firmware, all that kind of stuff, Bluetooth, how, th how that kind of does notifications, blah, blah, blah. Now, by default, which is kind of cool, is you've got the uh, thumb button there, which sets to uh, different windowed mode like that. And you, what you can do is in the applications, it's already got some predefined um, hotkeys already set to the mouse for the side scroll wheel, which is pretty cool to see. So say for example, if I open up Photoshop, just okay, so here I'm in Photoshop and the uh, scro side scroll wheel is already set to brush size. So look at this, I can make this brush uh, larger, I can make it smaller without having to go up here you know, and change the brush, set, brush settings or use my keyboard. So that's pretty cool to see that you can do that on the fly. Now, another thing you've got is, for example, uh, Premiere Pro. Works really well in the timeline here. So if you've got your timeline like that and you just want to scrub through the timeline, you can just go like that using the mouse wheel and go back dead easy. So you don't have to kind of use the bottom uh, bar there and um, that's actually on the timeline. Alright so here I am in Cyberpunk 2077 you know jumping in a game here um, so this is what it's kind of like in a first person shooter environment now in terms of comfort you know if you are playing this for long periods of time and you, and you do plan on using this mouse for a bit of FPS um, then you know it's, it is a really comfortable mouse because of the ergonomic style of it your, your hands like this you know like that instead of like this obviously if you've got a the rock at NIF here, as you can see there, it's like it has to lay, lay itself flat. Um, so much of your palm here is lying flat there. Um, but uh, on this, um, that's not really the case. You you know, you're you're a bit more um, 
are like sideways, so it's a bit more of a natural position to place your hand, and um, it's uh, it feels nicer, you know, or, or for long periods of time if you're using this mouth because your your wrist is a bit elevated and and kind of rotated there. So as you, uh, as I said before, this is a 4,000 DPI mouse, so. You know, if you're the kind of gamer who wants to go for um, uh, really high DPI, uh, like 12,000, you know, you're playing really fast paced games, maybe like Overwatch or um, what else is this, that CS Go, something like that, then it's probably not the mouse for you, you know, but if you just want to dabble a little bit in your, uh, in your gaming, then, um, and you're not really a massive high DPI user, you know, I personally only use about 3000 DPI in pretty much every game I play. Um, and this is what it kind of feels like now, you know, it, it still feels really great. It's really accurate and the weight of it is really nice as well. Um, like you don't uh, get the feeling that it's, it's too uh, heavy, um, but it's got a good balance to it, um, you know. Um, and that's really cool as well. Um, yeah, and it glides very nicely on the actual mouse mite itself. So let's just go pull out a gun or something here and let's see, uh, we'll just start shooting up the place and we'll see what the kind of accuracy is like. It does feel really good, but I'm just gonna start shooting up pedestrians here. You know, people are kicking off. Um, I'll just start running around so you kind of get an idea. I'll set off this bot here. Let's have a look. Am I getting owned? Oh, what? What the hell's just happened? Have I glitched? Oh, this game, man. What the hell has happened? This game is just a glitch fest. As you... Oh, what? Yeah, and I died. You know. But that's like a, just a quick kind of uh, showing there of what this uh, thing's like. You know, um, it's it's good. Um, you know, if you just want it for a bit of... If you want a one mouse that does a, a bit of both, then it's... It, and you only... You don't really map buttons to your mouse because a lot of people out there they don't really map buttons to their mice they you just use the keyboard and then they just want a mouse to point and click if you're after a mouse like that then you know this is this is spot on um, and it feels really comfortable and it feels solid and reliable as well all right now that's pretty much all i got to say about the mx master 3 mouse what do you think of it what are you going to be using it for now obviously if you use it for productivity there's probably not much of a better mouse here it's very professional very clean sleek looking um, built well it's comfortable in the hand if you're using it for hours on end for working from home it's an absolute ideal partner of a mouse now if you're using it for gaming obviously as i said before it'll kind of depend on the type of gaming you do if you want really high dpi fast mouse then that's probably not the best for you um but if you plan on um you know uh, you're not using a lot of dpi or you're playing games where you're not going to be mapping a lot of buttons to the actual mouse itself then it, it works really well for that so uh, a bit of both really is what you're going to be using it for now i've got to, i always use two uh own two mice so i've got my rock cat nif for my mmo games where i'm mapping loads of buttons onto the mouse that's what i use that for but for stuff like shooting games and stuff like that i normally just use a keyboard and just use this to point and shoot to be honest very simple so if you like that a game like that then i, I would recommend this mouse really good obviously battery life is an absolute boon now i've tried a lot of uh, wireless game mice before like your corsair dark core you've got the the rog uh, wireless mouse um what's the other one the razor basilisk stuff like that the they are good mice um but because of all these uh, rgb and the bells and whistles that don't really affect how the mouse performs really it the battery life is terrible on it it lasts like a day and then you have to like recharge it whereas this thing because it hasn't got all this rgb stuff um it lasts obviously for ages like you don't have to turn it off and then you come back to it and you can still use it it takes ages to get rid of the battery and that's one of the best things about this mouse as well as that scroll wheel honestly once you use this scroll wheel you will not go back to using uh, something else as your daily driver because that scroll wheel is brilliant just for like you know going through web pages and stuff like that Definitely recommend it. Tell me what you think in the comments. If this video has helped you out, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, check out the links below to see where to buy it from and catch you next time.